Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Dukhan, uh, and we are the group members Riya Jain, Anurag Rai, and Tanu Gupta. We have prepared the project Secure Voting System using blockchain uh, as a part of our minor project. So, what is the problem statement? Elections are very important for being a democratic society. They must be transparent and credible. This is where voting system comes into picture. The voter accesses a decentralized database with their browsers, but there can be third party alterations or cyber attacks possible. Uh, so we thought of using blockchain for this. Uh, now let's discuss about the state of the art and the limitations. So there are numerous techniques available for voting, each having their limitations, such as EVM machines are working on microprocessors, which can be easily tempered. Paper ballot systems take a long time and can be easily manipulated. Headcount approach is very inefficient and the database approach is prone to attack. We also study some research papers. Uh, uh, so in first, uh, due to offline elections, the participation was quite less. So we thought of creating an online system for this. The next research paper discussed about creating an online system using a database, but again, it would be prone to attack. And so we decided to choose blockchain for this. This will prevent them from cyber attack and data leaking. Another research paper discussed about a decentralized system based on Ethereum, but there was an issue of voter authentication feature. So we tried to integrate integrate all these limitations into our project. Uh, the work distribution is as follows. Anurag has handled all the backend and web 3 js parts. I have handled the frontend, HTML, CSS, and the React template parts. Sanav has handled all the solidity and the CSS parts. Uh, the proposed design and implementation. Uh, talking about the tech stack, we have used Solidity for the smart contract, Web3.js for connectivity between frontend and the, blo uh, and the blockchain. Uh, the frontend part is completely based on React, and Firebase is used as a database. Uh, the result and analysis will be shown by Anurag, and we'll go to demo. So let's first discuss about the Solidity contract and the logic behind our app. So as we and Anurag explained with the demo and the presentation, so here is the Solidity code, which explains the logic behind the voting scenario. So uh, here is a voting contract named vote. So it has a structure of candidates, which has ID, name, vote, party, and qualification and image URL. Then there's a voter structure, which contains a voter address. And then there is a candidate count and voter count, because in mapping, we cannot have the number of elements. So this variable tracks the present candidates and the present voters in the mapping. And manager tracks the address of the person who deploys the contract. So these are the mappings which are used in the contract. And then here's the add candidate function, which could be used only by the manager as it says only manager. Uh, this is a function modifier uh, used by us. And these are the variables which set the state variables for the candidate. So this is a vote function and this this is also uh, not accessible to manager because a manager cannot vote to anyone and he is the admin so and also if you have voted uh, there is a has voted uh, mapping so it checks in that and if you have voted then you cannot vote further and there will be an error you have already voted so you cannot vote and if we vote successfully then the votes will be increased in the particular candidate and certain things could be changed as follows. And there is an emit election update, which shows the uh, that we have voted to of this part to this person of this party. So it is basically an event which is created here. So it is used basically used to con uh, to print in console log. So we print the following variables and it is shown that we have voted to this particular candidate. Now that is the election result. This, this is used only by manager when manager wants and voting series end, so he can decide that now is the time result should be calculated. So he can call this function and uh, max uh, max the person with the candidate with the max vote would be selected from this function. And then he displays in console that this particular candidate has won the election. So this is a simple contract. Now I'll show the demo. Okay. So basically we'll deploy from this account. We click on deploy. As you can see that this code has compiled without any error. We go to deploy. The code has deployed as you can see a green tick. These are the functionalities available. When we click on manager, we get the address of the manager. Now we can add candidate. We can add by providing these fields or we can directly 
input them in a single string. So I have already prepared one string. So I'll add that. That candidate. So as you can see, our candidate is added successfully. Now we'll add one more. Now if we see the candidate count, it should be two. Uh, we can also view the candidate details, which we have added. First candidate is Arvind Kejriwal. And second candidate is Rahul Gandhi. So these are the two candidates. Now we can and uh, select voters. Now this is the admin or manager. Now we select this account as voter one. So if we select, we need to give an ID. So initially the candidate one has zero votes, as you can see. But if now we see the vote count will be increased to one. Similarly, we can vote from other accounts. Now, if we look on candidate one, so candidate one has three votes and candidate two has two votes. So clearly candidate one must be the winner. Now we'll, if we call, uh, we can also check whether this particular address has voted or not. So if we look on this address, which has taken the gas value. And if we check here, it will say true. Yeah, this person has voted. And if we check this person, Yeah, so he has uh, not voted. Now we can have a look on the voters. Voters count is five at present. And if we look at voter one, these are the addresses of the voters which we have added. So now if we call the election result function from a candidate account, from a candidate or voter account, then we won't be able to. Like if we click here, election result, it will be crossed. Yeah, so this function is not possible because manager is not calling that. So first account is manager. Now if we call from this account, then it will be possible. Yes, so you can see that this transaction is successful. And if we click here, we can see that Arvind K. Jival of the party app has won the elections and vote secured the three, which was shown here also. He has secured three votes and this is printed to the console. Also. So this was a short demo and this explains all the logic. And for the voter authentication, that would be done by the front end. Uh, the admin will register, then only it will reach till here. Otherwise, it will be stopped in the front end only. Now, uh, welcome to the demo uh, of the project uh, election voting system. Uh, now, here uh, we have this list of dependencies that we can install using uh, npm install. But uh, as I have already installed these dependencies, uh, I will directly start with npm start. Now this starts my server and uh, I will uh, uh, use two browsers, one for admin, one for voter. Now uh, for admin, I will log in with the admin credentials as in my Firebase, which I'll show just in a minute. Now this is the dashboard. 
for admin and we have our admin stored here. We can have multiple admins. And this is the admin. Uh, now, uh, describing the tabs here. Uh, now the admin can add candidates which are going to stand in the election. There's a phase, uh, phase uh, section where uh, the current phase can be changed. Like uh, currently it is voting, which can be changed to results as it's changed. And now uh, let's switch to registration. And here are the candidates list which are already stored. Now, suppose I add a candidate. Now for it, that is suppose any random address and now for photos you are, I'll copy this and now add candidate. The candidate added successfully. Now in the candidate list, we can see a mixture. Uh, now for what uh, register voters, we have uh, two voters that are registered to this site. Now we can, uh, after verifying the Aadhaar and wallet, we can register and uh, unregister them. So uh, like Ashish is not registered, but Ria is registered. And so this wraps up the admin section. Now for the voter section, suppose I log in with Ashish. Now the registration, uh, currently it is in registration phase. So uh, there, uh, we can update Ashish Aadhaar and wallet address and the status here shows unregistered. Uh, now, if I change the phase to say voting, the registration phase gets over and Ashish is still unregistered and he is unable to vote because he isn't registered. And this is the result section. Currently, all of the voters are currently all of the candidates are having zero votes. Now, uh, let's log in with Riyas. Now, Riyas is registered. And in the voting section, uh, we can vote for each candidate. Suppose I vote for Amit Shah. Uh, and all the buttons are now disabled, so no one can vote. And in the result section, we can see Amit Shah received one vote. And in the registration, she is registered. This wraps up the voting, voting section. Thank you.